Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are kicking off our exploring of the city center of Helsinki in not such typical spot, I would say. We are just standing in front of the Tempeljaukion church, aka the rock church, which is actually built inside of a rock. So I'm really excited to see how does it look like from inside. Let's go and let's see it. Whoever invites in me, and I in him, he is that bears much fruit. May Lord bless you all. We didn't even know how we ended up on a, a Bible readings uh, in the middle of our tour, as this is an active Lutheran church, but uh, still the atmosphere here was very calm and peaceful. Even though there's mostly tourists right now, I read that in 2019 there was over one million people visiting this church, as it's so unique because basically while building it in 1960s they had to crave the solid rock and now the walls of the church are just the stone and it looks so fascinating. Also the roof itself, it has a copper dome which sits on the concrete pillows and the sun is shining through the glass. The rock which was dug out of the hole is now used to decorate other parts of the church and the surrounding which is also very nice I think to use the stuff and just keep it here. Additionally thanks to great acoustics this place holds many concerts and any other events. We went to check out the dome from the outside and right now we are walking on on the solid rock and we are at the roof level currently and as you can see it's really inside the city. Strolling the city on our way to the main square we are just crossing the biggest cathedral and probably the most iconic one here in Helsinki. The cathedral looks so huge from outside and so majestic, but to be honest, when we entered, I was surprised that it's, you know, smaller than I thought. But these views from up here are pretty impressive. On our way to the seaside, we are about to catch a ferry to one of the most important islands here in Helsinki and actually also one of the most visited tourist sites. It's called Suomenlina and it, if you directly translate it's like castle of Finland and the ferry runs uh, every 15 minutes and it's part of the Helsinki public transport so we can use our day ticket to get on the island and also back. Yeah, like 24 hour ticket for the whole public transport. Yeah, and it should depart from a market square, so it's a quite big space, so we are just about to find a spot. Yeah, let's see, and then hopefully we can also discover the whole market square area. Like we catch some school group as we found out that there is like last week of a, a school here in Finland, so it's gonna be fun. <laughs> I think they made a little bit like confusion here also for the public transport, but we are on the way. We made it. <laughs> So apparently the city of Helsinki is made up on more than 300 islands and the Suomenlina is one of them and it's also actually listed in the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Not only that, but it's also an inhabited area. We've just arrived here and we are gonna explore the whole island. As this island is inhabited, around 800 people are just living here a casual life. They have everything what they need. They have markets, restaurants, even a church. So quite an interesting way how you live. And obviously as it's a small island, it's a car free uh, zone. So only few cars for services are allowed to go. 
And actually the boat we used to get here also has two spots for the cars. So occasionally some car travel with the tourists. Here we have the whole map of the island and we arrive just right here and we get off boat and we are standing in this red circle as you can see and the whole island is really huge so you can easily spend like the whole day wandering and strolling around but basically like the, those main attractions and things you can easily see it's marked blue like it's blue road and it goes like it follows all those things which you should not miss when you are around here yeah so that's what we want to do basically just follow the blue marked road and go all the way to the other side of the island and hopefully find some cute local cafe along the way first side we passed on along the blue road we are following it's this suomenlina church and uh, surprise surprise on the top you don't find bells but uh, the lighthouse as its island We already diverted from the original blue road and we are now in a harbor, I mean, a dock here where they park the small ships and also they have a dry deck to repair them. It doesn't really look like a tourist spot. We found a local area because we actually spot few locals like working on some things. I feel like we escape to some part which is private and obviously also like those private areas like marked so you don't you know walk like in other people's garden or things like that but it's still very nice and interesting to me that they are just living their everyday life here on an island found such a cute local gem called Valimo or Cafe Valimo and it's really charming you can sit inside or outside just by the sea and also they have like unlimited coffee so you can just buy your cup and then just come and refill which is very useful I would say for today's weather and yeah so we just sit a little bit and enjoy the atmosphere of this island so fascinating how you can escape the hustle and bustle of the city center in just 15 minutes by boat ride and you feel like you are in the middle of some village and not in the capital city at all. Following this well-marked blue road you can really have a beautiful walk around and see all those important stuffs around the island and you can also like make quick tours to very calm spots and have it just for yourself i mean i really enjoyed it me too and you will end up on the tip of the island which is the furthest from the city facing towards baltic sea yeah i really found useful all those tiny maps along the way so you can kind of easily orientate like where you're standing and also all the sites around are well explained and all the history and everything about it so even if you don't do a guided tour you can walk around by yourself and discover this 18th century sea fortress spread across six linked islands The timing is just perfect as we arrive to the city center. It's starting to rain a bit, so I think this is the best time to explore the food market hall and find some fresh local food and get warm a little bit. Inside the food hall you can find a variety of stalls where you can get everything from fresh pastry to fresh fish as well. There is salmon everywhere and it looks so good. It's easy to orientate as it's not that big, but we are looking for one specific stall where they serve salmon soup. It's after the lunchtime hour, so it's a little bit calmer right now, but still quite a lot of people. 
I would like to have some salmon. Yes. Would you like to eat them here? Yeah, please. That will be 29 and 90, please. Same yes. car, Yes. You can eat it here. Oh, and there's also bread and crumble right here. So that's included in the price. Wow. So if you want to wrap that, you can also. Thank you. You want? I'm going to yeah. take some. Ooh. I'll bring it. I have to admit, this is one of the things that there were on our bucket list once we were visiting Helsinki and Natalia was talking about this for so long and to have this soup at this specific place at the food hall. So, and it's a salmon soup, a creamy one with a, such a large pieces. <laughs> and yeah, it's served also with bread and it looks super delicious with some fresh onions. It's quite hot, but you can definitely eat it. Can you mm. feel the salmon? <laughs> definitely, I can smell it as well. And there are potatoes, onions, and probably some cheesy cream. The salmon soup is so rich and creamy, and look how much of the salmon and potatoes we have inside. And it tastes really delicious. And basically we are like inside the market, so we are sitting in the market hall and people are just passing through and all those stalls have their place to just sit and warm up a bit and actually it feels very nice after being on the top deck of the boat so yeah 10 of 10 for me <laughs> and believe me people are stopping by and just looking at our soup and it looks so delicious Looks like the sun started to shine again by the time we were eating the soup. The portions were so huge. We are completely full right now and I'm really glad that we entered the food market hall first because yeah, that was the only thing we could eat probably. But right now we are just going to stroll the famous markets and see what they offer because there should be not only food but also some souvenirs and local staffs and maybe flowers and things like that so let's see locals and visitors traded goods over here since the 18th century these days the market square offers outstanding atmosphere and beautiful views all around just right next to the market square there is also this famous iconic sky wheel and right next to it alas pools with a restaurant where you can enjoy warm or cold pool and also sauna no day is finished in finland without sauna right so we decided to do also this part of finnish culture and go and visit sauna but not this one but actually a little bit more unique one which we found because here in Alice pools, if you use the sauna, you can make a cold dip actually in a pool, which is the water is from the sea, but it's filtered and it's in the pool, so it's a little bit more artificial, I would say. And we decided to go for a bit bigger adventure to try a sauna with proper Baltic Sea dip. So that's where we are heading right now. I mean, we couldn't leave Finland without trying the traditional Finnish sauna which uh, the temperature inside is over 80 degrees and it can reach over 100 and I think we found the best spot just by the sea. Okay, shallow water. Do not jump. Okay, I'm not jumping then. Take a deep breath. Come in. Basically, there are four different 
different saunas around here and then this huge space where you can just sit and relax outside but also inside there is a fireplace it's kind of connected with the restaurant so you can either choose to have your meal during your sauna sessions or just go there afterwards my favorite one is obviously the one with the best view to the sea and you can literally just open the door and use the stairs to the Baltic Sea which is pretty cool. I also tried one specific sauna which is called smoke sauna and it's very dark and uh, the specialty is that they let some smoke from the wood come in so it's uh, healthier they say. And from this unique spot, we also want to say goodbye and thank you for being with us today as we explored Helsinki together. Join us next week as we rent brand new e-bikes and discover wider area of Finland's capital city. And let's say, experience few adventure struggles along the way. But we are halfway through already.